Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast. The podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. The girl who lives in her father's dreams. For now, who knows what will happen in the future. Uh, why is she in the dreams? We don't know yet. How is it that a girl can live in the dream? We don't know yet. Who is her father actually? We don't know yet. We do know, uh, if you look at previous episodes, that he is not a biological father, so... How did they happen to be together? We don't know. Too many mysteries, a lot of mysteries uh, are in this uh, story. And we haven't even discovered most of the world yet because we are stuck in his dream for now. So we do know that they live a life of adventure. Every time he shows up, most of the days, you know, he dreams of swashbuckling adventure. They have been uh, having adventures possibly from age zero for her. Uh, they live on a flying uh, ship called Bunny's Revenge. Uh, the story is told by the Red Dragon, who doesn't disappear when uh, Justin, her father, awakes. Uh, she's hiding, the Red Dragon, and telling the, these stories. And, you know, anything is possible in the dream, maybe. Uh, maybe Santa Claus, too. Who knows? So this is... An episode about that. Episode 153, Remembering Santa. Joy's age four and a half, towards the end of four and a half actually, told by the Red Dragon. It was winter in the dream, which means that it had been winter since Dragonfather appeared half an hour ago on the deck of Bunny's Revenge, and suddenly gusts of wind and snow filled the air. The ocean froze immediately, and Bunny's Revenge, the pirate ship, became stuck in the snow, unable to sail the oceans or rise into the air. Immediately after the ocean froze, mountains of snow appeared on top of the ice, coming up almost as high as the deck. The deck itself began to fill with snow. Dragon Lil wore a coat, warm clothing, and gloves that had appeared in Dragonfather's hands just in time. Dragonfather's warm clothes just appeared on him. The two looked at the mountains of snow and the snow falling. Where did all this come from? Dragonfather was saying, clearly not realizing that he was the cause for the snow. Almost everything in his dream was his creation after all. Boy, winter's getting worse every year. Seriously, global warming, climate change. Dragonly looked at him. What? Dragonfather looked down and shook his head to say, never mind. He leaned his back on the mast. Oh my God, he said calmly. I remember the first time I waited for Santa Claus. My dad hated it so much he sat me down. Santa Claus? Who is that? Dragonfather looked down at her again and laughed. Oh dear, I'm going to have to tell you what my dad told me, aren't I? He pursed his lips and said, Joy, Santa Claus is someone a lot of people think exists. He wears like a red coat, he's very fat, always happy, and has a white beard. And uh, people think that he lives in the North Pole where everything's cold. And then once a year, he flies all over the world and gives gifts to everyone. I want a gift! What? Of course you do. Everyone wants gifts, but there's no such thing as Santa Claus. It's something... I want a gift. No, but it's something people invented. They tell it to kids, and then they believe it, and then after a few years, they have to tell them it's not true, see? It's lying, and it's disappointing. I want to save you, your disappointment. I want a gift. You'll get a gift, but not today, and not from Santa Claus. I want a gift. Yeah, Joy, but he can't exist. He has a sled that flies. Who has a sled that flies? We have a ship that flies. Uh, yes, yes, that's true. But it's different. We got it from aliens and he has reindeer that... I want a gift. Joy, listen, Santa 
doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. So he can't give you a gift. He just doesn't. He stopped talking as it became clear to him that Dragonlil was looking at something behind him. He's right behind me, isn't he, Joy? Dragonlil nodded. And indeed, the person Dragonfather just described had landed his sled right behind the mast. Tomorrow, I will tell you more about the adventure that followed. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Santa Claus, Climate Change. And so, it's the dream. They can have an adventure with Santa Claus, right? Doesn't matter if he exists or doesn't exist. Justin thought about him a lot, and suddenly Santa appeared. And now they're going to have an adventure with Santa Claus, and we are going to have to follow it. Also, there was a clue in there, at least one, probably more than one, about um, Justin's real life. So uh, listen closely again, maybe, uh, to learn something more about him, his father, and uh, his childhood, and where he comes from, and what time is it in our world? Who knows? So tomorrow, more Santa Claus in an episode called Santa Needs Help. So join us then. Uh, This is not going to be a regular Santa story. I promise you, this is a story about joy. There's no Christmas Santa story here. Okay? It may just look like it for a while. (laughs) So, now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and, in fact, 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.